Hi guys, for today's lunch, I'm going to make Japanese style seafood curry. Using a non-stick large size pan, heat oil over medium high. Add and cook the shrimp for 2 minutes each side or until the shrimp is pink. If you want big prawns, you have to cook them for about 3 to 4 minutes each side, depending on the size. Remove from the pan and set aside once cooked. Next, the squid. Do the same thing for squid. Do not overcook it for it becomes too tough to eat. The longer you cook it, the chewier it gets. Using the same pan, add the garlic and cook for 1 minute. Add your onions. It's up to you if you want to mince your onion or just slice some big chunks like what I did. Add potatoes. Cover the pan and cook for 3 minutes or until half cooked. Add carrots. Cover the pan again and let the vegetables cook for 5 minutes. Once cooked, remove the vegetables from the pan and set aside. Still using the same pan, pour in 3 cups of water. Or follow the cooking instruction of the sauce mix you are using. Add the curry cubes. I chop them into small pieces so they melt a little faster. Cover and let it simmer until the curry cube has completely melted and became a thick sauce. This box of curry sauce mix has two portions. I'm only using one for this recipe. I'm going to use the other half some other time. Add vegetables back in the pan and simmer for 2 minutes. Add half tablespoon of sugar. You can also use honey if you want. Mix and then add all your seafood. I'm adding the fish first because that's the only thing that's left raw. Shrimp, mussels, and squid were already cooked. Mix well until all ingredients are covered with sauce. Add salt and pepper. Turn the heat to low and continue mixing for 2 minutes.
Turn off the heat and let it sit for a few minutes before serving. Let the sauce reduce a bit more and the seafood will absorb the flavor of the curry sauce. Lunch is ready! Japanese style seafood curry. It's saucy and it's so delicious. Happy eating!